It's about that time again, babe. Do what the time? jingle. Father Ted time? Yeah, do the Father jingle. Father Ted, Father Ted, what you gonna do today, Father Ted? <laughs> you like that? They like it. Thank you. That's why I keep asking you to do it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, what's up, Boomerites? What's going on? We are going to watch Father Ted. It's about damn time. It's about damn It's about time. damn time. Um... She's got a really busy schedule, and if I watch one yeah, without her, yeah, I just got home from work. She's gonna do a little snip, snip, do a little snip, 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 snip. So, a snip, snip. snip. Nah, not yet. I need five more babies, and then maybe. <laughs> well, all right then. Let's get into the reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, like baby, army. you're gonna put me to work. <laughs> all right, but this is. Uh, Episode 8 from Season 2. Um, let's check it out, folks, because I'm, I really missed Father Ted, so I can't wait to get back into it. Here we go, guys. Cigarettes and alcohol. What does it say at the bottom? In rollerblading? Yes, well, I thought people might have been confused about where the parochial house is, so I thought I'd put a big cross up in the middle of the garden. Just hope they know it means I'm a priest and not some madman. <laughs> <laughs> some madman's put up a cross. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Dad. You know what killed me in that? Her. her head movements. She's trying to get down, her head's like... <laughs> Maybe she has vertigo. Oh, man. Maybe she's been drinking. Maybe. Don't drink alcohol or smoke cigarettes. No. It's bad for you. It's bad for you. It's freaking bad for all you. Right. So cut it out, all right? You want to live a long, healthy life, you gotta stay away from you the cigs and the elk. You gotta stay away from the what? <laughs> the cigs and the elk. The cigs and the elk? Yeah. What's wrong with elk? Elk alcohol. I hunt it all the time. It's delicious. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. Make me some elk biscuits. <laughs> I don't think those go in a biscuit. Ted, I'm off rollerblading. All right, Dougal. <laughs> Hello, Craggy Island Parochial House Father, Ted Crilly speaking. Hello, Ted. Dick Byrne here. Oh, no, Dick 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 Well, Dad, I just thought I'd give you a call and wish you all the best for Lent this year. What? Oh, yeah, Lent. Uh, what are you giving up? Being the biggest idiot in the priesthood? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Ted, if we could just put joking aside for a minute. Lent is a solemn time of year. I know we've had our disagreements in the past, Ted, but at the end of the day, we are both brothers in Christ. Oh. So anyway, over here, we decided we'd make a special effort this year. I'd given up cigarettes. Father Johnson is giving up alcohol, and Father Macduff is giving up skateboarding. <laughs> and I must say, the atmosphere of serenity and devotion to our Lord in the parochial house this year is very, very special indeed. Right. <laughs> so what about it, Ted? Will you make a similar effort? Will you join us, Ted? Will you go the extra mile this year? I, I suppose you're right, Dick. Uh, I suppose we should make a special effort. It'll be worth it, Ted. God bless you. Goodbye, Dick, and, um, God, God bless you, Dick. <laughs> That's why his name is Dick Byrne. Dick Byrne. Because he is devious. He's the one they, they competed against in the, uh, yeah, yeah. Eurovision. Yeah, play, I remember from so. his name. Yeah. Evil! Mr. Dick Byrne is evil. Dick Byrne. <laughs> I don't think a guy named Dick Byrne would be very nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's it. I'm giving up the fags. Father Jack, I think we can give the old drink a miss. And no more rollerblading for you until Easter, Dougal. Easter's <laughs> miles away. It is, but it wouldn't be a sacrifice if it was too easy, would it? And don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. Because of the sacrifice our Lord it's made. It's much more important than that. I'm not going to be beaten by Father Dick Byrne in a giving things up competition. <laughs> And that's what this is, a giving things up competition. We've got to show them what we can do, especially after that Scrabble fiasco. 
You've never told us what happened there, Ted. Oh, he... I don't know how he did it. He, he must have cheated. He must have. But he got all his words to say, useless priests can't say mass. <laughs> so, right, we got that? No more fags rollerblading or booze until Easter. Understood? All right. No smoking oh, booze and a rollerblading. Drink? Drink? Oh, yes! <laughs> no! No! No, Father Slent, remember you said you'd give it up for a couple of days. This is going to be the hardest one. Yeah, but Jack it is. To drink. Jack's not going to do He's it. He's going to remember. Doesn't it like, if I remember right, was like if he doesn't have the drink, he goes crazy. Yeah. And like he disappears and you can't find him. Uh, yeah, I think that's when he went into the woods or something. Yeah. <laughs> Among other things, he's yeah. done several other things. What? <laughs> Did not remember you said you'd offer it up for our Lord. Arnold? Who's Arnold? <laughs> no, our Lord. I suppose I made your mouth for you. But I know that deep down inside you'd like to make a little sacrifice. Sacrifice? Ours! <laughs> it's a very special time of the year for all of us. Drink! Drink! You won't find any there, Father. I've put them somewhere very safe. Where? Oh my God. <laughs> Some pirate's going to get messed up. That's a whole journey. That's a whole jur day's journey just to get there. That is. I don't even know how you would get there. I don't know how he got there. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, my God. Here we go. No more fags for me now until Easter. Good job. <laughs> Great. No problem there at all. <laughs> God Almighty. I don't even miss them at all. This is easy. <laughs> In two seconds. Yes, I'm not even thinking about smoking. Not even thinking about it. <laughs> oh my god! I love that Dougal's is just over rollerblading. Oh my god. You know what's crazy? Because I'm like I'm in the middle of editing um the train spotting movie for YouTube. Yeah. So it's like the serious version of withdrawal oh, for one yeah. of the characters. And now I'm watching the, the spoof the funny, version yeah. of withdrawal in the East 3. Oh my God. Withdrawal from rollerblading. Yeah. It's beginning to kick in, Ted. Yeah, I know. Me too. God, this is terrible. I don't like this at all. Maybe we should stick with it though, Ted. I mean, we've come through worse together. And don't forget Dick Byrne. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 Oh, my God. Blah, 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 blah. Don't you think so, Ted? Hmm? Oh, I certainly do, Dougal. Absolutely. How are you doing, Father? You all right there? Do you want me to blah, 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 I'm surprised he pictures the Guinness. Yeah. Father, father, is he all right? I think he's uh, just circling the airport. <laughs> Better get that. You all right there, Dougal? What? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Here's rollerblades on right now. <laughs> Don't make a show of yourself in front of him. Ah, yes, Father, I know, Father. You're so great, Father. Oh, you make me sick. I don't know what you're talking about. You're feckin' worse. Oh, Father, you're brilliant. Oh, Father, you should be Pope. Doesn't impress him. Makes me sick. God, you're an awesome divot. Oh, Father. Hello, John. Hello, Mary. Oh, Father, you look wonderful. Is, is that a new outfit? <laughs> we thought you'd like some Easter eggs from the shop. Oh, that's terribly nice of you. Thank you very much. Uh, I think it comes to about eight pounds. We thought we'd bring it down to you. It's not a gift. We're going on holidays, and no. we're not sure when we'll be back. Yes, we're uh, we're going to Rome. Oh, <laughs> so looking forward to it. We might see your friend. Who's that? Sophia Loren? <laughs> <laughs> no, Father. The Pope. He's no friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> actually... <laughs> They're horrified. They're so confused. Do you remember uh, when we went to dinner the other night, and then that one guy he asked uh, he asked what it was, and we were eating fire cheese. Oh yeah, yeah. When we went and then to what lunch. did he say when um, 
We were eating Saganog. Yeah, he said you, you're eating it. Uh, we were eating the fire. We said it's fire cheese. Yeah. And then he said something afterward. He said like, "What kind of cheese is it?" And I said, "Saganaki." Yeah. And he said, "That sounds Japanese." I said, "Like, oh, well, it's, it's Greek." It was something else, though. I can't remember what it was. What was it like about? I don't know. I I can't remember, but it was. I just remember rolling my eyes, like. Oh, like it was. It's like one of those dad things where. He's, uh, <clears throat> he was like, what kind of cheese? What is that? Oh, oh I said it was fire cheese. cheese. It's Saganaki, and then, um, which is like a goat, a mix of goat cheese and, oh, it's the other one. I forgot. It's goat cheese and I think like some kind of softer cheese, like mozzarella. Yeah. And then I said they put like 151, some kind of rum over it and then yeah. burn it. And he was like, oh, like my wife would love that or something like that. Yeah. That something, yeah. Something about the rum, like getting drunk off cheese, or I don't know something. And I'm like, but it was something like, well, you sh- you should have just saved it and drank it. <laughs> yeah, something oh, like that. Oh, oh. I'm the funniest old fuck in the universe. <laughs> I wanted to slap the shit out of him. Yeah, he was talking about some other stuff too, where I was just like. Well, yeah. He was, he was talking about like getting prenups, and I was like, why is this guy talking about this at like dinner? Yeah, it's like these like and wasn't 65 he like with his people. like wife or something or is yeah yeah he was, was two like, old he was couples. like Stacy didn't like that I got a prenup and I was like Stacy's right there why are you bringing this up in front of your friends it was weird. It's probably saying to the guy in front of him, it's right here she pales in comparison to Stacy. Oh, oh, and oh, then they oh, didn't want oh, olives. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, oh. Well, anyway. That's what that reminded me of. Did it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that might have sounded a little disrespectful. Sorry. Ah, no problem, Father. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. Look at it! Oh, my God. What is it? Lovely fags. Because a fag is a oh. cigarette over there. Not the, I thought it not said the, lovely not the, legs. Not the derogatory term for a homosexual. I'm a little worried about uploading this thing to YouTube because I've had issues with yeah, I don't know if you having could. characters smoking cigarettes. But that's the thing of the yeah. video. So I'm just hoping. I'm on good standing with YouTube right now. So yeah. I'm, if YouTube, if you're watching, we do not condone smoking cigarettes. This no. Is, this is uh, a humorous portrayal of someone... Who is trying to quit? It's not good for your heart. Which is a good thing, even though it's they poke fun at it. It's a good thing. Everybody should quit smoking yes. cigarettes. Okay, I try to cut out every type of smoking cigarettes for you guys on YouTube because you guys have frowned upon it in the past, and I've been following your rules. But if I upload this and it has cigarettes in it, I apologize. But the whole point of this episode, in a humorous a way, is to quit cigarettes. Yeah. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, let's continue. <laughs> I'm not enabling dishonest behavior. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I think everyone should quit smoking cigarettes. He had a bottle right by him. Oh no. Bad Father Ted. No! Put it away! The cross hit him again. Oh. I didn't see it there. I didn't either. (laughs) He has alcohol and he's 
got his rollerblades and a helmet on. I can't. Oh my god, they look like they're uh, they've been there for days. <laughs> they look like kids that just got caught, like teenagers. <laughs> One day. You think we could go one day without giving in to temptation? Hello? Oh Hello? God. God almighty, when I think of the sacrifices that Matty Hislop made... Who? Matty Hislop. He was a notorious drunkard who found God and then decided to punish himself for his sins. Oh, he used to do all kinds of things. Like, he had this terrible allergic reaction to cats, so instead of avoiding them, he used to carry a kitten in his pocket. <laughs> and sniff it from time to time. His head just inflated like a balloon. Fair play to him. That would happen to you. Yeah, Could you not knock the rollerblading on the head but for a couple of weeks? I still want to get in, please. I know, I know, Ted. I used to be happy enough with the old bike, you know? I used to get a great buzz just going down to the shops. But after a while, it just wasn't enough. I just, I just oh, kept going for bigger and bigger thrills. But I can handle it, Ted. I could quit any time I want. Well, you tried to quit yesterday and you couldn't. You're right, Ted. I admit it, I have a problem. <laughs> Come on now, Dougal. Nothing no wrong with rollerblading, man. Not now that we're no. getting outside help anyway. It doesn't ruin your life. More come people on, should rollerblade. God, why do nuns have such awful music when you're on hold? <laughs> if I hear Ave Maria one more time, I don't know. Excuse me! Ave Maria! Excuse me! Yes? How much longer am I going to be on hold? She'll be with you in a second, Father. Oh my god. I kind of had a feeling that he was going to say that and the lady was going to be like on the phone. This show is getting so, like, it was already good, but it just keeps getting better. I know it now. does. With the, uh, Their writing gets you know really good. You know what was bugging me out? The giant rollerblade just. <laughs> it, it, he was hallucinating. I know, I kind of really like that. Blade. Hello, Crazy. Sister Mary Gondola, how can I help you? Uh, hello. Uh, my name is uh, Father Ted Crilly. Uh, look, I was wondering, could you send somebody out? Well, we have a small problem here, uh, keeping our Lenten vows. What do you wish to give up, exactly? Well, um, cigarettes, alcohol, and, um, rollerblading. All right. On special offer this month, we have the Lenten package. £150, plus that, plus booking fee, that's... Two hundred pounds. Two hundred pounds? I'm not trying to buy cocaine. <laughs> we have a basic offer at fifty pounds. Ah, yes, that'll do fine, thanks. Now, how do you wish to pay? We accept all major credit cards. Can you hold, please, Father? Ave Maria. Oh, so you love her, dog. <laughs> Listen, I'll, I'll have to ring you back. <laughs> What's up with him, Ted? <laughs> it looks like the last of the alcohol has left his system. I think he might actually be sober. Is that it, Father? Are you seeing things as they really are at last? Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah. That's, that's it, all right. I suppose sobriety for Father Jack must be sort of like taking some mad hallucinogenic. Where are the other two? <laughs> the other two? <laughs> I see. The old vision is back to normal. No, there's just the two of us, Father. And what do you two do, then? We're priests. What? Priests? Don't tell me I'm still on that feckin' island! Oh, my God! Uh, well, yes. Yes, Father. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, must be great to be sober every once in a while, or even every 12 years. Every 12 years? Cheer! <laughs> Well done, Father. <laughs> Curtains! Yes, that's right! Oh my god. Floor! <laughs> All coming back to you, is it, Father? Yeah, the Jack Sparrow walk. Gobshite! What are you saying? Yes! I remember! Gobshite? All coming back to you, is it, Father? Gobshite! Still there, my yes. I remember! I'm off on my Lenten pilgrimage now, fathers. Oh, off to St. Patrick's Hill. What's that, Ted? Oh, it's a big mountain. You have to take your socks off when you go up it. And once you get up to the top there, they chase you all the way back down with a big plank. <laughs> it's great fun. <laughs> oh, I don't 
want it to be any fun at all, Father. I want a good, miserable time. Mm. Keep me on the straight and narrow. I met a couple there last year, and it did them the world of good. They were a bit obsessed with the old S-E-X. God, I'm glad I never think of that type of thing, Father. That whole sexual world. God, when you think of it, it's a dirty, filthy thing, isn't it, Father? <laughs> Can you imagine, Father, looking up at your husband and him standing over you with his lad in his hand, wanting you to degrade yourself? God Almighty, can you imagine that, Father? That was a long time mm. prepared for that. Can you picture it there, Father? Oh, get a good mental picture. Oh, my God. Can you see him there, ready to do the business? Doorbell! Doorbell, Mrs. Doyle, the doorbell. <laughs> hey, 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 you there! What the hell is this? <laughs> He's, he doesn't know what anything is anymore because he's sober. Oh, um, Father, come on, you should be here. Might as well go meet her. Oh my God! Sister Assumpta. <laughs> Dougal, Dougal, do you remember Sister Assumpta? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> she was here last year, and then we stayed with her in the convent back in Kildare. Do you remember it? Ah, you do. <laughs> and then you were hit by the car when you went down to the shops for the paper. You must remember all that. And then you won a hundred pounds with your lottery card. Ah, you must remember it, Dougal. Um, weren't you accidentally arrested for shoplifting? <laughs> I remember we had to go down to the police station to get you. And the police station went on fire? <laughs> and you had to be rescued by helicopter? Do you remember? <laughs> you can't remember any of that? Huh? The helicopter! When you fell out of the helicopter! Over the zoo! Do you remember the tigers? Oh my god! You don't remember! You were wearing your blue jumper. Ah, Sister Assumpta, hello there. Hello. I have to say, I had no idea, Sister Assumpta, that you were with the Matty Hislop crowd. Oh, yes. Ever since I read his pamphlets, abstinence has been both my keeper and my reward. Yeah, great. Well, anyhow, all we want is the basic 50 quid job, the bare essentials. Keep us off the booze and fags and uh, the rollerblading. I'm afraid the rollerblading is my own particular vice. Oh, well, we'll do our best. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I sort of am myself. <laughs> do us good to exercise the old willpower. What about you, Father Jack? Are you looking forward to it? Uh, you remember Father Jack, don't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Nan! <laughs> no, it's none. None! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> He's not like none. Yes! I knew this would happen. It's like from like the first couple episodes. Yeah. When he was going crazy because he didn't have enough to drink. Yeah. Oh my god. Bye, Father. Uh, he's just gone for his walk. <laughs> yeah, but now you gotta go get him. Good morning, Father. Breakfast in five minutes. What if I woke you up like that? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I will not speak to you for 24 hours if you ever do that to me. Do you remember when I set, like, seven alarms? Yeah. You were almost that bad. Well, let's ask the Boomerites that question. That's a good one to pontificate I feel like a on lot of the people, channel. I feel like a lot of people do that. Um, Lots of people set lots of I alarms. can't stand it, but Queen Boomer has a habit of setting, like, six or seven alarms, so they go off every five minutes. Yeah, because he, what, what kind of nutcase just hears an alarm and gets up? Uh, one that puts an alarm on the other side of the room, so they have to get up. Then I would throw all the pillows until that like Together. at the alarm clock until it turned off. What do you think? Okay, I do think you want to set seven alarms, or do you want to set one excessive. that's in a place where you can uh, get up out of the bed and you have to turn the alarm? Look, off. you have to do three. The first, let's say you have to get up at nine. Okay, uh -huh. the, let's say you have to get up at nine. The first one is at eight thirty. That gets you ready so you know in like 30 minutes you have to get up. So then you go back to bed and you set the second one, okay, for 8.55. So then you're like, all right, I get to decompress for five minutes. And then you get up at nine. <laughs> That's how you do it. 
Or you can set seven or eight alarms and each one goes off every four or five minutes. Like you did that one time. Because my brain doesn't wake... Okay, well, I don't know what I was doing that, that was, day. That was lunacy. I No, it was And her alarm is not like your normal no. type of alarm. She her, she has it set on her phone alarm where the thing... Sa- it's a bomb it's, warning. It sounds like an atomic bomb is yeah. going hit to hit your house in less than a minute. And I didn't... <laughs> Listen, I didn't. I didn't set seven alarms. Where is it? I'll I, find it. I set three. I set three alarms, and then I didn't want to get up at the last one because I didn't have to actually go anywhere. I just wanted to get up to like get stuff done around the house or whatever. And I kept snoozing it, so the snooze kept is only like five minutes, so it kept going off. Wait a minute, I'm in the wrong spot. Keep talking about it. You're going to convince them to set 17 alarms by the end yeah. of this. Yeah. But no, <laughs> and I didn't set 17 alarms. Like I said, I just kept hitting snooze. And I was like, oh, I'll get up in five minutes. I'll get up in five minutes. And then it finally went off. And Brian just grabbed my phone. And he was like, get up or go to sleep. You have to choose one. I don't know. I can't, I can't find it. Because I haven't looked up the sound in it for a long time. I think it but... literally just says, like, alarm. No, it doesn't. I don't know, but don't worry about it. I mean, you did a pretty good representation. Of I that. did. <laughs> my, who's, who's that thing? Is, is there a fire? Is there a fire in the house? I suppose it's just time to get up. <laughs> it's it's 5 a.m. Look, Dougal. 5 a.m. God, I've never seen a clock at 5 a.m. before. <laughs> <laughs> She's obviously made a mistake. Let's just go back to bed. Fair enough, Ted. What are you doing? I'm just writing her a note to tell her that we don't usually get up till later. Oh, <laughs> good figuring, Ted. This is you. <laughs> this is you. This Why is are you. you? Be mad? This is you. Guess what? Yell at me one more time. That's gonna be me. That's how you're gonna get woken up. <laughs> this is definitely you. I'm having nightmares right now <laughs> because phone? of that. I don't know. Oh, uh, that's that. It's almost like that, but it's like I gotta find this sound for you guys. Sorry for pausing it so much, but this is I gotta find this noise. Jane, what'd you do with my phone? <gasps> Sounds. Yeah, I'll do it right now. I used to know where this stuff. I don't know. I'm just seeing text tone. I don't know. Right, ready? Yeah. Oh, you're just going to have to wait a minute until <laughs> it hits? <laughs> well, we might as well continue the reaction then. Oh, it didn't go off. Yeah, you don't have the sound on. Anyway, set it for 9.33, <laughs> and then I'll just, oh, unpause it. A bit of breakfast, and I suppose we'll be fine. God, I hope so, Ted. <laughs> uh, sister, someday, you know, we really are only down for the basic booze, bags, and rollerblading deal. I mean, the getting up early thing, it, it's great, but uh, this is water. That's right, Father. All right, all right. Having a bit of a laugh with the big tickles from the island. Where's our real breakfast? Ted, I'd love a Pop-Tart. I kind of do too. I love pop tarts. Yes, Father Dougal likes his pop tarts first thing in the morning. I really don't think pop tarts have any place in our Lord's plan for the world. I think they have as much a place as anything else. Maybe our Lord doesn't take a personal interest in them, but I'm sure he delegates it to someone almost as important. And what about Frosties? Again, the same thing. He mightn't have come up with the idea, but he'd be the one who'd give them the green light. Oh, right. But if you take something like, say, Sugar Puffs now, or Lucky Charms, now they'd be my favorite. Fathers, could you please... <clears throat> could you please stop having that conversation? Just finish your breakfast and come outside for your daily punishment. Fair enough, so... So as we'll just finish the... Da- daily what? I'm sorry, daily, what did you say there? Your daily punishment. Matty Hislop's ten-step programme to ridding herself of your pride. The single greatest obstacle to inner fulfilment. Oh, that uh, sounds What is their breakfast? Water? <laughs> I can't remember. How are we two doing? F- f- fine, thanks. More ice? 
No, no, actually, I might enjoy that too much. Very refreshing, the old ice. Have you ever done an ice bath? Yeah. Yeah. It's excruciating. Have you? Yeah. I like it. I had to, I did it um, a lot when I was playing baseball. It's, uh, I didn't like it at all. I came out feeling worse. Why isn't it going off? Yeah, it, it doesn't go off for, well, for them. It goes <laughs> off for me. 17 times in 30 minutes. <laughs> it's not going off. Okay, here we go. I can just play it. Sound alarm. Okay. Isn't that lovely? Oh my Isn't that God. what everyone wants to wake up to? I feel like the North Koreans have just <laughs> released the missiles. Does Brian have a right to be mad? Oh, and that goes off like 15, <laughs> 20 times in an hour. I thought I turned my phone off and I went to go take a shower like yesterday. And while I like just turned on the shower, I heard meh, meh, meh. And I was like, oh no, he's going to kill me. I set it off myself. <laughs> I turned it off myself, yeah. <laughs> you still keep me What do you though. think? 17 alarms? Or one alarm on Just the other three. side of the room so Two you have three. to get up? One is not enough. One or the other. Let us know. Soon we'll be able to begin the ten steps. You said what? one, like you're this in the This is the first one. There's still ten to go. Father, of course. No. This is just to cleanse you. A form of preparation. For what? Are we going into space? I can't feel my legs! <laughs> oh God, still ten to go. Hopefully it'll just evolve a bit of an old prey. Oh, the arm burn. Have you ever had one of those? Yes. The Indian, it's yeah, like an Indian burn, I think it's like, called. Yeah, it was an Indian burn. That shit hurts. In like elementary Especially school. Especially if you got somebody who really knows how to do that. I don't like, think it hurts. Oh my God, if my dad did this. Does did that, that hurt? No. Isn't that how you do it? Yeah. Well, now it's starting to hurt a little bit. What? Ow, I don't like it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think your arm hair. Here comes the next comment. You're abusing your girlfriend, Mr. King Boomer. <laughs> I knew I o there was always something wrong with you. <laughs> I think your arm hair like creates a barrier, so it's harder to burn. Yeah, just forget that. Oh my god, if my dad did, did one. Why is he good at it? Yes. Why? Oh my god. It's a very weird thing. That's such a, a no. It's such like an dad. old man dad punishment. Oh, is it? Yeah. If he can, if he. Came out of here right now and did one to you, you'd be crying. You know, I would probably cry because he was so good at it. You know what my dad used to do? What? If I told him I had like a headache or I'm like, oh, I'd like stub my toe, he would like flick my ear. And I'd yeah. be like, ow, what the hell, dad? And he's like, well, now you're not thinking about your toe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I, a dad I would thing. hate that, though. Yeah. I'm not getting stoned. Oh my god! Oh, look at he loves it. Oh, God, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, my God, bricks. He broke his back. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah, this is a wild episode. Here's my mattress with <laughs> Oh, that's it. That's it. She's obviously insane, Dugan. We've got to get out of here. Where do we go? No problem. We know loads of people. What about Mwengwe? His parents are away for the weekend, and he's got the whole house free, and he's got satellite. <laughs> Dougal, he lives in Addis Ababa. <laughs> what about Dick Byrne, then? No, no, I'm not no. Dick Byrne. I know. I'll call Father Larry Duff. he put us up for a while. Dick <laughs> Byrne. <laughs> 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 do that one more time. No, please. It just came in my head. Please, do it. Oh, I do like that. Yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> I said, na 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 dick burn. 
I said it in my head and I had to say it out loud. We're having a child together. Yeah. It's going to be great. The kid's going to have a fun life and a fun mom and dad. <sighs> and he's going to suffer because of <laughs> No, he's not. He's going to be fine. Either that or he's going to be the sane one. We keep saying he. I feel like we're manifesting. I know, right? Ways. We don't even know it's boy or girl yet. That is so hard. Have you ever played that? He told me not to call tonight. What is that? So it's like you have a metal like hoop thingy. Yeah. And then that metal like loop de loop is electric. Oh, so it can't touch. Yeah, so it can't touch. So if you touch like, it, uh, it like zaps you a little bit. Right. So you have to try to hold it, like not touching the wire, and make it go all the way around to the end. And if it touches, it buzzes and zaps you, and it's really hard. Wow. I've never played that. Really? So it's kind of like a giant version of, like, Operation. Yeah. It's hard. Maybe it's like, it'll, like, put the loop through the... Uh, it hurts your arm yeah. to do. Some people, like, can't do it. I probably wouldn't be able to do it. It's frustrating too, <clears throat> because if you hit it, not you if it zaps you, you once and over. you go fuck this and don't play anymore. Well, if it zaps you, you have to start over. Yeah. So imagine being like almost at the end and then you do it. Yeah. And look, oh, he was almost at the end. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't see it so finished. Oh, wait a second, no, he told me not to call tonight. He's got this big important thing on. I suppose it'll have to be Father Dick Burns so over on Rugged Island. Come on. I'll leave her a note saying we've gone to a funeral or something. Or an autopsy. Why don't we say we had to go to an autopsy instead? That'll be more exciting. No, Dougal. A funeral is more believable. All right. Now, listen. We've got to do this as quietly as possible, OK? Right. And don't suddenly panic or make a noise. If we take it easy, we won't wake her. What a dump. <laughs> They're probably asleep. I'll just knock very gently on the door. All right, yeah. So as you won't wake them up. Uh, no, I'll have to wake them up so they can let us in. Well, then shouldn't you just knock loudly? Right. Good point. Oh, uh, never mind. I thought I was going to predict a jump scare, but I guess not. Ted, Ted, maybe they're not home. No, I definitely heard something. <laughs> Caught him red-handed. Yeah. I should have known, I should have seen it. You just can't trust Dick Byrne. As priests go, he's a really bad priest. Yeah. And we've still got 38 days of Lent to go. I know. Um, <laughs> this isn't what it looks like. Um, well, uh, this certainly puts a, a different spin on things. Uh, you won't tell anyone, will you, Father? I couldn't help it. They were just so chocolatey. And, uh, and I can't go back to the other nuns until after Easter. Oh, God, please don't tell them that I gave in to temptation. She's been eating chocolate. <laughs> oh, my God. I love him so much. <laughs> Dougal is great, yeah. God, please, Father. You must be so disappointed in me. If, if there's anything I can do to make it up. <laughs> well, uh, here's a mad idea. Oh, he's gonna make him show up to Dick mm -hmm. Burns' house. Yep. Yep. Hello, sister. How can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Great ending. Yes, that was a fantastic ending. Oh my god, look at her go. Oh my she god. Jeez. She don't play. This ending's a bit choppy though, from this end. Yeah. Oh my god. 
I can still tell she's beating the shit out of them. Yeah, that's true. Oh, there's more? Okay. I'm back, fathers! Oh my god! I'm still having a party. Oh my god. Oh my dear lord. Wow. And then they just overdid it with everything. <laughs> it was a great episode, though. Fantastic. We probably paused a little too much. Yeah, sorry. We were um, very pausey today. I know there's probably going to be like one or two. You paused it too fucking much, man. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> I don't think you should ever pause it ever again. Well, I don't get that, though. Then they ever just, again! Then they just watch the episode. Ever! <laughs> He passes it too much! <laughs> Fuck! You should be a character actor. Oh, yeah! Yeah. Well, he needs to stop puffing it! <laughs> oh, my God, you need to... <laughs> oh, my God, the veins in your neck are making me nervous. Oh. Uh, but, yeah, we probably shouldn't have paused it that much, so... But we oh, like to talk. Drive, when it's do. us together, we like to talk more. Yeah. And it's just one of us, you know... It's way different, which is why I like to have you on here. Oh, it's so much you. fun. I miss being it's so on much, there. Yeah, good. It's so much fun having you on. Thank you, baby. And they miss you. Um, but yeah, the clearly two things: don't smoke, don't drink, and set three alarms. Three. Yeah. You set seventeen. No, I didn't set seventeen. I used to set three and then snoozed it seventeen times. There's a difference. Okay, so you set three alarms and snoozed them to oblivion <laughs> yeah. for the next hour. I That's like, what you I did. I was like, I'll get up, and I just kept hitting snooze. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm a, I, I think Father Ted... I don't know. What's your favorite show to watch right now on the channel? Mm. React to. I, like I think it. mine's Father Ted right now. I was going to say Father Ted. It's either Father Ted or Man Down. Which I like Friday Night Dinner. Friday Night Dinner is very good too. Mm -hmm. um, it's tough, tough one yeah. though. But I, I, it's I gotta these say, two for me. I think it's Father Ted. Yeah. But who knows? I'll probably say something different next video because I'll laugh when <laughs> I like, saw something great. else. Yeah. yeah. But uh, anyway, Boomer Rights, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being thank patient you. with the pausing. Um, that one was a little bit excessive, but sometimes we get carried away and have fun. So. And thanks for being patient with me. I know that we should post these like episodes sooner. But I do work, and I'm in school, and it's a lot, and it's hard to... Work and school, which yeah. takes up about 70 hours a week for you. Yeah, pretty much. So. Yeah. And sometimes I get home, and I'm very tired. And if I watched something, I would probably find it funny, but I'd be so tired, I'd be like, ha-ha. Uh -huh. So, it's hard. Yeah, I don't... Sometimes I get like that every once in a while. Yeah. When, it, when that happens, I'm like, there's no way I'm doing a reaction right now. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Sit there and like doze off half the time. So, yeah. all right. But anyway, you guys have a lovely day. Stay safe out there and uh, don't be like these buffoons. Yeah. Please. All right. Peace out, everybody. Bye, Take care.